This is an account of the mercy of your Lord to his servant Zakaria. When he cried to his Lord in secret, he said, Lord, my bone have grown feeble and my head is glistening with age. Yet, never have my prayers to you, my Lord, been unfruitful. I fear evil from my kinsmen after I am gone, and my wife is barren, so grant me and hire out of your special grace, one that might be my hire and the hire of the house of Jacob, and make him Lord, one that will be pleasing to you. He was told, O Zachariah, we bring you the good news of the birth of a son, whose name shall be Yahya, the John, one whose name's sake we never created before. He said, My Lord, how can I have a boy when my wife is barren and have reached an extremely old age? He answered, So shall it be, your Lord says, it is easy for me, and then added, For beyond doubt I created you earlier when you were nothing. Zechariah said, O oh Lord, grant me a sign. Lord said, Your sign is that you shall not be able to speak to people for three nights, though you will be otherwise sound. Thereupon, Zechariah came out from the sanctuary and directed his people by gestures to extol his glory by day and by night. O oh John, hold the book. With all your strength, we had bestowed wisdom upon him while he was still a child, and we also endowed him with tenderness and purity, and he was exceedingly pious, and cherishing to his parents, never was he insolent or rebellious. Peace be upon him the day he was born, and the day he will die, and the day he will be raised up alive. O Muhammad, recite in the book the account of Mary, when she withdrew from her people to a place towards the east and drew a curtain, screening herself from people, whereupon we sent to her our spirit, and he appeared to her as a well-shaped man. Mary exclaimed, I surely take refuge from you with the most compassionate Lord, if you are at all God-fearing. The angel said, I am just a message bearer of your Lord. I have come to grant you a most pure boy. Mary said, How can a boy be born to me when no man has even touched me, nor have I ever been unchaste? The angel said, Thus shall it be, your Lord says, It's easy for me, and we shall do so in order to make him a sign for mankind and a mercy for us. This has been decreed. Then she conceived him and withdrew with him to a far-off place. Then the birth pangs drove her to the trunk of a palm tree, and she said, Oh, would that I had died before this and had been all forgotten. Thereupon the angel below her cried out, Grieve not, for your Lord has caused a stream of water to flow beneath you. Shake the trunk of the palm tree toward yourself, and fresh and ripe dates shall fall upon you. So eat and drink, and cool your eyes, and if you see any person, say to him, Verily, I have bowed up fast to the most compassionate Lord, and so I shall not speak to anyone today. Then she came to her people, carrying her baby, they said, O oh Mary, you have committed a monstrous thing. O oh, sister of Aaron, your father was not an evil man, nor was your mother an unchaste woman. Thereupon, Mary pointed to the child. They exclaimed, How can we speak to one who is in the cradle, a mere child? The child cried out, Verily, I am Allah's servant. He has granted me the book and has made me a prophet and has blessed me wherever I might be and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakah, purifying alms as long as I live, and has made me dutiful to my mother. He has not made me oppressive nor bereft of God's blessing. Peace be upon me 
the day I was born and the day I will die and the day I will be raised up alive. This is Jesus, the son of Mary, and this is the truth about him concerning which they are in doubt. The child, it does not befit Allah to take for himself a son. Glory be to him. When he decrees a thing, he only say, be and it is. Jesus had said, indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so serve him alone. This is the straight way. But different parties begin to dispute with one another. A dreadful bow awaits on that great day for those that reject the truth. How will shall they hear and how well shall they see on the day they come to us but today the evil doers are in manifest error O Muhammad warn those who are steeped in heedlessness and are obstinately rejecting the truth that day shall come when things will be finally decided and they shall be left with utter remorse ultimately we shall inherit the earth and whatever is on it to us shall they be returned.